Hello, I'm going to talk a bit more about why we organise and how we organise. This is part of Relax, Recoup, Review and Reorganise. Now the, type, the areas in your business that you may reorganise would be around the markets, what markets you're, you're in um, and your marketing and social plan. This is the method, this is how you reorganise. You may um, reorganise your uh, customers, um, identifying who are your key customers, key by value or key by strategic import importance or key by opportunities they might create in, in the future um, for you. So uh, you might want to re-segment your, your customer base. You could have picked up, hopefully you've picked up many more customers, but identifying who are your key customers. So actually building a relationship plan is how you go about doing that. Um, your products and, and services as, as well, there may have been some adaptions and some um, tweaks or new products, but you may continue to go on and um, adapt your, your products and service um, range. So putting together a plan or new product development plan for that, so that's how you do it. Your operations of your business and the processes of your business. Um, the feedback loops as to what you do and how you do are really important so it will be um, worthwhile reviewing that you know customer um, complaints your customer services how that feeds into your um, processes and how you can improve your processes whether some, there's some opportunities um, there um, new ways of doing things using IT putting things in the cloud looking at those for so that's how you go um, about um, improving those processes and reviewing those processes, reorganizing those processes to maximize any opportunities. But also your kind of financial plan, the other area in your business, it's um, your financial targets. Um, the review process may have brought up some gaps in your target. So actually going through, you know, the, the markets, your customers, your products, your services, your processes will actually help you to fill those gaps. And the plans that you put in place will be the how you actually fill those gaps. So you can see how all of that comes together. So these are the areas in the business that you'll be looking at. But what I want to talk to you about is goal setting. Now goals are set in context of your strategic plan plan, your vision and your values, your mission and your purpose. So it's almost like the kind of top is the mission and the purpose and they all kind of filter down to your goals. And so in setting your, your goals, um, it's important that it's all in context with over, overall where you want to go. So although this is an annual review goal setting process, it's actually um, set in context of your probably your five year um, um, strategic plan or um, vision and perhaps your kind of 10 um, year mission and, and purpose. Um, so it's important that it's set in context. Um, the next thing is to make sure your goals are focused um, and uh, make sure that they're um, focused in, in terms of what areas so that you're not having 20 goals you actually only have one main goal but they may that one goal may affect each of your kind of functional um, areas your financial targets your um, marketing plan your relationship plan but you have one main goal great if you achieve that goal in six months then you set another goal but you actually only have one main goal so decide on, on what that is your goals must be smart so that's specific, that's measurable, that's actionable, that's relevant and with a time scale. And I've talked a bit about relevance um, before and how you make them relevant, but the time scale is a year. You've got to break down your goals into actions. Each of those action plans will fit into those functional areas. So what, what are you going to do within the marketing plan in order to achieve that goal? What are you going to do within the relationship plan in order to achieve that goal? What are you going to do in the processes in order to achieve that goal? Um, so that's how, how you pull to, um, together your reorganization of your business into a, to achieve your main goal which fits into your overall um, strategic plan, vision and values, and mission and purpose. All right, so I'm going to talk a bit more about um, monitoring and measuring and making sure your goals are achievable. So I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.